it is a pretty gloomy nondescript Saturday and um, I thought what better time than a rainy weekend to finally get around to finishing part three of my makeup clear out. So I started this a while ago um, and I put two videos up, two very long winded videos up of me clearing out my makeup collection. Um, I'll leave those linked up here, up here for you if you want to go and see them. But yeah, I didn't get around to doing the third one, um, obviously with the break that I took recently. And I've been putting it off to the point where I haven't even gone upstairs to my beauty room slash office slash spare room. Um, yeah, so I've been putting it off for so long, I'm just gonna do it today. It's basically just down to one last thing and that is lipsticks now, um, which is probably what makes up about a third of my makeup collection in itself. So it's gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully cull a lot of things um, and really get my collection down to something more manageable, that would be nice. So yeah, we're gonna do that today. I've got a few other things today to do as well, today to do. I just got ready to go out um, and go into town to pick up a few things, um, get myself lunch and some coffee to get me through the clear out. So I'm wearing the most casual of outfits today. I just want it to be comfortable. This is kind of a little bit of a Topshop heavy outfit. I've got this jumper on, which um, I picked up recently. Oh, it's gone dark. It says Amour on it. It's got a little heart, really cute embroidered um, kind of cropped jumper. I've been enjoying a cropped length recently. So I've got that on underneath my Topshop denim jacket. And then um, these Topshop mum, and they're not mum jeans, they're straight leg jeans, I think. These ones are the ones I usually wear with um, ankle boots, so they're a little bit short to wear with Vans, which is what I have on. Um, but hey, these were the jeans that were on the top of the pile, so those are the ones that I put on. I've also got my Chloe Pixie bag on, which I have to say, guys, I have worn so much. It's the only bag I've really picked up recently. Um, so easy to wear and I think it goes with everything because it's just this really neutral colour. Uh, so yeah, that is my outfit today. Your outfit of the day is... nothing. No clothes. She won't even look at the camera. You get camera shy. Oh, tail's wagging. Tail's wagging though, isn't it? Not sure why I thought it would be a good idea to go into town on a Saturday. Um, I didn't actually even realise that it was Saturday. It was busy. It's like maybe four Saturdays before Christmas, so yeah, it's not a nice place to be really uh, in all the shops when people are kind of just like barraging around. I actually, I think someone tripped me up on the way out um, of prep where I went to get some lunch because I've just sat here and eaten my lunch. And I actually said sorry to them, even though they tripped me up. It's getting a little bit darker now, um, so I'm going to try and speed this up a little bit for you guys. Um, but I did want to show you what I got in town. The main thing I went in for, um, they didn't have, so I was a little bit sad about that. Um, although I have just come home and I ordered it online as I was eating my lunch, so it's fine. It'll be here in a few days. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to set you down here. Is this going to be a really terrible angle? I hope not. Um, yeah, so the first place I went was Basin K. I wanted to um, smell the diptyque candles, basically. Um, the new Christmas ones are out. Um, there's one more thing inside here, but it's a present, so I'm going to leave that one. Uh, they do three Christmas candles every year, and I always get them, just because, as well as them smelling amazing and smelling Christmassy, I do like to collect them. I think I have maybe um, the last four years ones, so had to add to the collection this year and buy myself a little pre-Christmas present. Um, first of all, 
how amazing is this packaging? It's gorgeous. This is the, um, I'm not actually sure what this one's called. If you can hear rustling on the floor, Moon is having a play with something. But yeah, all the packaging is this like black with gold foil. It is gorgeous. So let me get it out of the box for you. Um, yeah, I got the big size um, and the name of this one, it's written on the bottom there. Can you see? I'm pretty sure that says bougie. I'm gonna call this bougie, even though it's probably something like something in a French accent. But yeah, how beautiful is this packaging? And all of them had um, different color wax. So this one had blue wax and there was a red and a green one, but this smells like, oh. It smells a bit like their vanilla candle, which is very vanilla -y and a bit woody, um, but it's also quite Christmassy, so I got that. I'm going to leave this one here for now. I'm not gonna light it yet, because I'm actually trying to make my way through some of my um, more summery candles. This one's Tuberose, which is really, really nice. It's not too summery, um, but it's not festive. So this is what I have on today, and then I think I'll save this one until December the 1st at least. Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit early to start burning Christmas candles. So the actual reason I went into town um, is in this gorgeous bag. I walked past the Cath Kidson store last night actually, um, but it was closed so I couldn't go in. And I saw that they had this new Disney collection in the window. Cath Kidson have been doing some um, like Disney collections for a while now. I actually did some work with them recently on their Peter Pan stuff. But as you can see, it's Mickey now. I love Mickey Mouse stuff. Um, I think he's one of my favourite Disney characters and all the stuff is just Mickey. I feel like I've said this before but I always um, like to kind of collect Mickey Mouse stuff when I see it because um, if I ever go to Disneyland I like to be kind of like fully decked out in the Mickey Mouse and um, it's not that easy to come across so whenever I see something I usually get it because I mean the chances of me going back to Disneyland like soon is very slim and minimal but a girl can dream so yeah that's usually why I like to kind of collect Mickey Mouse stuff. So this one is what I actually saw in the window yesterday um, in a little dust bag here. I think this bag is so cute it's kind of like a camera bag it's quite boxy um, and it's a nice size too but it has this really cool strap let me take off all the packaging. I really like the colour of this and I just loved it with the strap. I think this like chunky, stripey um, strap is just so cool. I think this extends to be a lot longer if you want it to, but I thought especially like with denim um, and something quite casual, which is what you know I usually wear, um, this would be a really cool crossbody bag and I, I think it would be cool with the thicker strap. Um, against the slightly smaller bag, so it's a pretty good chunky bag actually. This would fit like my camera, my phone in. Do I have my phone nearby to show you? Yeah, this is a seven, seven plus. I always need to know if a phone is going to fit in a bag, so hopefully that's helpful for you guys. But yeah, love it. And then uh, I also got this one, which is just a tote bag, but I use these so much. I use them when I travel, I use them if I'm going to the post office and I have parcels to collect. Um, and I just fancied a nicer one. All the tote bags I have are either ones that have just like come as a free gift or something. So yeah, I thought I'd pick this one up. It's pretty big actually. Cath Kids and Bags are great for just like carting around half of your life. So this is just red and stripy and it has a little kind of fluffy Mickey on it. So yeah, pick that one up as well. <laughs> so here we are. I have looked through every bag, every um, drawer, every part of my makeup collection, coat pockets, trouser pockets, everything. And I think I have found all my lipsticks. I'm actually gonna do this here on my bed. I feel like I have more space um, than on my floor upstairs because I still haven't yet um, reorganized all the makeup and it's still sitting on the floor. So yeah. I think probably the best way of organising these is to split them into brands, so that might be where I start. Although there's quite a few things that I have like one-offs of and stuff like that. And also, I can already see there is a ton of lip balms, some of which are probably way too old to keep. I know I have some really, really old lipsticks in here too, but I don't know, for some reason I feel like lip balm expires quicker. Not sure. Also, lip liners in here. Um, I probably should have put short sleeves on so I can actually like swatch a thousand different colours, which I'm sure I'll be doing. 
I think as well as having too many lipsticks, or maybe the reason why I have too many in the first place, is that things like foundations, bronzers, eyeliners, mascaras, I'm very good at saying goodbye to and I can get rid of them um, very easily because I tend to find my favourites and then that's about it, I have one or two of each. But when it comes to lipsticks, there's just always a part of my brain that says, you might need this in the future. <laughs> and um, I find that really really hard to ignore so for instance there are colours in here that I've worn once and I probably won't wear again but I just for some reason I feel like I need to keep them that was harder than I thought it would be um so I've organized them into brands pretty much I have all lip liners here still I haven't split those up yet and then I also have this massive pile of lip balms which are kind of a few different brands in there as well but yeah this is pretty much it I feel like there are still some missing I was looking out for a couple and I don't know that I saw them um but this is what we're working with today so we've got um, some Chanel lipsticks, Marc Jacobs, a ton of YSL, I feel like I keep this just because it's so beautiful, this packaging. Um, same actually goes for Charlotte Tilbury in this gorgeous rose gold um, metallic kind of packaging as well. Some, actually a ton of liquid lipsticks, um, which I don't know if I use as much anymore, I've kind of gone back to normal lipsticks. So there's Kylie Jenner here, Kat Von D, Huda Beauty. Um, a few drugstore ones, some Sephora ones, some NYX. I've got loads of NARS, you guys know I love NARS lip products. A ton of MAC. Um, this is probably where we're going to find today's oldest lipstick. There's some drugstore stuff here, so some L'Oreal. Um, lots of bourgeois lipsticks. I've got this random pile of one branders, where I only have one from each um, brand. A couple of Tom Ford lipsticks, some Hourglass, some Armani. Um, yeah, some Clarins and then just the lip balms over here. So I think what I'm going to do now um, is go brand by brand and pick what I want from each brand, get rid of the old ones, um, get rid of the colours that I'm not going to use anymore. There might even be some in here that haven't been used, so I can give those away. So let's start here. I'm going to work um, clockwise, I guess, across this massive pile. So these are the Armani lip magnets. I don't know if I actually love these as much as some other liquid lipsticks. Um, there's some totally gorgeous colours in here, like this nude one um, and these like bright oranges. But I have to say, the formula is more like a stain and I'm not a massive fan of stains. So if I'm being really ruthless, actually, I don't think I would miss any of these if I didn't keep them. Let's do some swatching. Let's start this whole thing off. I'm going to have to do really, really small swatches. See, actually, this colour is gorgeous. That is such a nice nude. I definitely gravitate towards the end of the spectrum, so nudes and then reds. Um, so, like, this one is actually quite a nice, like, burnt brick red. Maybe I will keep this nude one, because I think it's always nice to have a lightweight nude, but the other ones I think I can say goodbye to. Starting off strong here, I'm going to have to make a pile, too, for stuff I'm not keeping, so let's just leave those there. Next we have this one Glossier Generation G lipstick. Like I said, I know I have more of these, so um, there must be a pile of lipstick somewhere that I couldn't find, but I'm keeping this one. It's in the shade Cake. It looks a lot darker there, but it actually comes out as a nice kind of nude colour, so that is definitely staying. Hourglass lipsticks. Um, these are actually the lip icons, I think, and I have to say I don't think I've used nearly any of these. There's some really gorgeous colours. Um, they actually sent me every single shade of these and I narrowed it down to these four, I think. But yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the actual formula. Again, I think they're just a bit too thin, so I'm not going to keep those. This one, though, I think I am going to have to hang on to. It's the, um, what are these called? The Opaque Rouges. Now, this is in the colour Raven, which is such a pure, beautiful red. I have two, um, Illamasqua lipsticks here. I don't actually remember wearing these oh wow okay <laughs> why do i own this um that is a pure white lipstick oh my i mean honestly i'm not going to wear that ever even if i dressed up as like a snowman i don't think that would 
be what I would put on my lips. Um, what is this one here? This is called Physical. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. I haven't used this before, so I'm gonna hang on to that because I don't actually have a lot of pink lipstick, especially matte ones. Okay, let's have a look at some of these lip balms. Some of these must be so ancient that they just need to go straight in the bin. All of these Glossier ones I'm gonna keep. I've got those really recently. Birthday cake, the coconut balm, um, and the original balm. The coconut one is definitely my favorite of all of these. This is also new. I got the lip gloss. Um, from Glossier 2, which is like a really, really shiny, just clear gloss. It reminds me of when I was at school and everybody used to have these glosses, but in rollables. These are kind of similar, these three here. Um, these are the Clarins Lip Oil. These two I probably don't use. I don't really like tinted products. Um, and I don't think I've actually used these before, so they can go. I have two of the original lip oil, which is just the clear version. I'll keep the smaller one because I don't think I need a full size one, but I am gonna hang on to the little one um, and that probably can go in the bin. What is the date on this? Oh, it does say 18 months, which is over a year. So maybe it's not um, too old to keep yet, but I think I'll just hang on to the little one. There's some more Clarins in here, instant light lip balm perfectors, which I do really, really like. And then the instant, I think these are the instant light natural lip perfectors, yeah. I never really got on with these, I never really liked them. These two, um, on the other hand, maybe I'll just keep one of the colours. I'm gonna hang on to both of those actually, I think they are um, really too nice not to keep. Um, this one though I don't think I've ever used, I don't really use lip primer, so that can go. Um, this is a by Terry lip balm, it's the Balm de Rose but in a tube, which I love because um, the little pots, they're not the most hygienic to me, so I like it when things are in a tube. This one can go, this is a Nooks um, Rev de Mille in stick form, I never really liked that, I think that was um, not one of my favourites. Um, this lip balm though, this Clinique Pep Star is so nice, I've been using the um, mask version of this every night, it's by my bed at the moment. All these like squeezy tube ones, I don't really like, the cow shed one's a bit too oily, um, I'm not a fan of the Jouer one either. Mm, I'm not sure how well we can say I did that because this is still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over 10 lip balms. So these are all bourgeois lipsticks. Um, these ones are the Rouge Velvet lipsticks, which are so, so intensely pigmented. These types of ones, the kind of more pinky berry tones, I don't think I'll ever really see myself wearing. Same goes with like the mauvey ones and the mid pinks. I don't think I'm gonna wear those. There is a red in here that I absolutely love. Which one is it? This is the reddest red lipstick ever. And it's so pigmented and really creamy and smooth. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. That will be the first of many red lipsticks to come, I'm sure. I think this one looks like it could be a good color. Yeah, that is definitely my kind of nude. I'm gonna keep that. These like burgundy reds are so my favorite at this time of year. Wow, look at that. These two are Tom Ford lipsticks. I have to keep these. These are actually some of my favorite lipsticks in my whole collection. I always use the other side of Tom Ford lipsticks uh, so that I don't ruin the gorgeous little imprint in the front there. And this is probably one of my favorite nudes of all time. This one is called First Time. It's the perfect nude color for me. Um, I've used this one so much and oh, the packaging of Tom Ford lipsticks is just insane. I have two here from Kevin Aquan. I really like these matte Kevin Aquan lipsticks. Um, I love that and I love the formulas of these. And who remembers this? I used to wear this so much. This one is called Forever. Almost like bubblegummy pink. Things like this, I feel like I can't give away because I just have so many memories, but I'm probably not gonna wear them. I've got a couple of um, L'Oreal ones here. These are the lip paints in um, the matte versions. They have a few different kinds of these. I've just swatched them and actually they just feel a little bit chunky. Um, compared to some of the other ones that I've been swatching, they're just a bit too, I'm not sure, almost like chalky. The colours are really nice, this pink, that looks almost fluorescent. Um, but yeah, they feel like they've dried out a little bit actually, so maybe I'm not going to hang on to those. I have two more lipsticks here, these are just some of the colour Riche lipsticks. This one is in the shade Hype. Oh look at that, the steel isn't even broken on this, I haven't actually opened it. Um, and then this one is actually my favourite lipstick at the moment, this is the L'Oreal Balmain lipstick in the shade Confession. I have been wearing this literally every single day, um, I've probably used quite a lot of it actually. I am obsessed with this colour at the moment, um, so those two can stay. Let's have a look at this pile of really random stuff that doesn't really have a home. We've got some Burberry, some Rimmel, 
I think that's a, oh, that's a NARS lipstick. I can go in the NARS pile. So we've uh, uh, Kiko, Laura Mercier, Lipstick Queen, Barry M, Bare Minerals and Collection. Honestly, I don't know if I want to keep any of these. I will hang on to this Lipstick Queen one. This was a present um, from someone actually and it is a really gorgeous red. It's actually more orange in real life. It's coming up quite red on the camera. We're getting into liquid lipstick territory now. So these Sephora ones, um, I have travelled far to get these but they're just not the best formula. They are very, very drying. These Tanya Bear Cosmetics ones though, I like. I think there's one colour that I have worn so much. I think it's this one here, the Martha Moo, the slightly darker one. This one's a little bit too pink for me so I'm not going to hang on to that. I'm just not really into pink lipstick anymore, it's weird. These NYX ones, I don't know if I want to keep. There's some really nice colours here as well. Um, but yeah, I just don't find myself reaching for them. This one, Stockholm, is really nice. Can is a little bit too dark for me. Um, then we have Monte Carlo and Copenhagen. I think I might keep the lighter one and the darker one, though, and get rid of that. So this nude one, and then this really gorgeous purple, which is a really pretty deep, dark colour. And then the other two are from the Balm. Um, I remember really liking these, but it's been so long since I wore them. It's probably been over a year. We've gotten to the middle of the pile, the MAC lipsticks. This is going to be a tough one. I remember when I bought every single one of these and I kind of associate some of them with different times of my life. So, um, I mean, that's just the description of a hoarder really, isn't it? So I think I should get rid of some of them. I do like these MAC liquid lipsticks. I think they are really, really good formulas. This red especially is gorgeous. And then um, this darker one, I think this was from one of the collections, maybe the Helmet Lung collection. And then this one's quite special as well. This is Ruby Woo, which I think I have another one of oh look it's the one i picked up that's weird i guess i should keep the um packaging that this one comes in because it is so gorgeous this is part of the fragrance line they did um so they made fragrances for a couple of the lipsticks which i think is kind of cool this one is chili um i like this one a lot it's kind of like a brick red color really different to anything else i have this one is girl about town this is the first mac lipstick i ever bought can you see how gross this looks? It's been melted, it's been broken off and stuck back together again. I never really wore it. I just liked the fact that I had a MAC lipstick. I felt like I was cool and in the gang, you know? So it would be really sad to get rid of this, but I feel like for hygiene reasons, I, I just should. This one is Vegas Vault. There is a very similar one I have, which is called Tropic Tonic. So yeah, these two are so similar. Um, this one looks a bit darker because it is a matte formula. I think I would probably always pick the matte one out. This one is taupe. I bought this when I was kind of going through like the Kylie Jenner Velvet Teddy phase, which I do also have. Let me see if I can find Velvet Teddy. Oh yeah, it's this one. I feel like Velvet Teddy is more flattering. So I might get rid of taupe and then just keep Velvet Teddy. This one is another throwback. This is Impassioned. This is probably one of the pinkest pinks the MAC do. It's um, it's really nice actually. It's kind of more like a hot pink. Relentlessly red. This is one of my favourites. It's it's a pink as well, but it's kind of more of a like a richer pink. You can see the difference between the two of them there. It's one of the retro matte lipsticks as well. I think it's one of the first retro mattes they did. So it is a really gorgeous, gorgeous formula. So I think I will keep that one and then I'll get rid of Impassion because they are sort of similar. Um, this one's kind of sexy. This is one of my favourite nudes. It's one of the only brownie tone nudes that I can really wear. I've got Mare here. I don't think this one ever suited me. It's just way too much of a mauve. Guys, are you ready for this? Look. There she is, Lady Danger. This is probably the best lipstick MAC make. I think this is just the ultimate red. I feel like this is what got me into red lipstick as well. I don't think I wear it a lot anymore. It's very intense, but I think I have to hang on to it. These three are kind of similar. So we have um, Diva, Rebel, and Sin. They're both super, super dark, dark colors. So these are the MAC ones that I'm keeping, and these are the MAC ones that I'm giving away. I've probably got rid of less than I've kept um, but I think that's the biggest hurdle for me over these are definitely the ones I hold the most sentimental value to 
swatches are creeping up my arm at the moment. I, I hope we're going to have enough space. So NARS lipsticks, I don't think there's a lot of these that I'm going to say goodbye to. Love all these velvet matte lip pencils. These are just some of my favourite formula of lipstick ever. These ones on the other hand, these are slightly different. They're the satin ones and I'm not sure if they're my favourite. And then we have some of the lipsticks. These ones you can't actually buy anymore. So these ones are Niagara, Barbarella and Schia. Who remembers this lipstick? Say hello to pink. Wow. So NARS had these lipsticks for so long and they had some really gorgeous shades in them, but then they replaced them with these. And I'm not massively into these ones. They're all named after women. I don't think I've even used this one before. This one is Bridget. I mean, it's a nice color. I'm just not 100% on these formulas. They're a little bit too thin for me. Um, whereas the other ones were quite pigmented. So next we have some Dior lipsticks. I'm just getting myself absolutely covered in lipstick at the moment. This one in particular I remember keeping because I just thought it was so gorgeous. The packaging is amazing. But I've never used it. It's a really rich purple colour. And as it still is completely intact, I don't think I've even swatched this. I am probably going to give this away to someone. I think it would make a really nice little gift. And then these are two of the Rouge Dior lipsticks. I think there's one Rouge Dior and one Rouge Dior matte. And if I remember rightly, I think this is the first ever Dior lipstick I bought. I didn't even really use it. Um, I just love the fact that I had this beautiful, beautiful lipstick. I like this colour a lot. It's one I tend to gravitate towards all the time so I've got to keep it it was the first one I ever bought this one though I don't think I've used this uh, was sent to me recently it's kind of more brownie than I think I would normally go for so um yeah as I haven't really used that one I'm gonna give that away too so here we are at the rest of the liquid lipsticks um I have mainly Colourpop, Kat Von D, Kylie Jenner and Huda Beauty um, starting off, I think I can probably get rid of most of these Kylie Jenner ones. I spent so much money on these. I wasted my time. I wasted everything. I just don't use them. I don't really buy lipstick without trying it, um, or at least swatching it. And I ordered every single colour she did. I think I've gotten rid of a couple as the time has gone on. But yeah, these ones I haven't really worn except... 22 which is actually a really nice red although it always looks weird in the tube it always looks like it's kind of orange and also dirty peach i do like a lot it's quite a hard one to wear but it's really really pretty so i'm gonna keep those actually now i think about it but then these ones the two nudes um coco k and posy k and then mary jo k too yeah i'm not gonna hang on to those these ones are all ColourPop lipsticks. One of these I'm definitely keeping. It's the Hello Kitty one, which is so random, but they did this collection with Hello Kitty, and this colour here is called Ribbon. It's the most gorgeous red, so that is definitely staying. I don't think I need to keep three very similar reds, though, so this is the three of them here swatched together. Now that I've swatched them, actually, they don't look all that similar at all so maybe i might keep all of them actually as i'm putting these on my arm i literally remember how nice they are to wear they just glide on so smoothly a lot of people think they're very similar to the kylie jenner ones but i think they're way nicer so these are the three nude ones here um i think maybe this middle one i could get rid of because it's not my kind of shade Kat Von D lipsticks um oh, I love all of these so much I feel like I need to keep them so we have Lolita 2 which is actually one of my favorite liquid lipsticks um as well as Beloved this is such a nice pink Vampira um is a gorgeous dark really really dark burgundy um and then this one here is Outlaw maybe this is my least favorite of all of them so if I had to get rid of one it would probably be that one this one also is quite extreme this one's called a go go it's very very orange wow look at that it's so bright let's look at these YSL lipsticks next so I have four of these tatouage couture matte stain these are definitely stains again so they're not my super super favorite formula but the colors are so nice and they are super pigmented too so they kind of work for me a couple of these are actually personalized which i think is so special um this one has my initials engraved into it this one is in this gorgeous glittery packaging um and then this one isn't even a YSL lipstick. That is masquerading. Rouge Volupte Shine. They are gorgeous lipsticks. Um, and I think I've mainly hung on to these for the packaging more than anything. So in terms of how much I wear them, 
the answer to that is zero. But I want to keep a couple just because they're so nice. Um, if I was going to wear them, I think it would probably be the lighter colours. They do have a clear, um, this like lip balmy one, which I think is really cute. I like that one a lot. I think it's this one here, number 44, is a nice kind of sheer wash of pink if you're after that kind of thing. If I keep those three and then these ones and then the lipsticks here, I think that is enough cutting down on my YSL collection. This is just kind of sad, really. Um, so the other kind of really, really big one I have is Charlotte Tilbury. Three of these are liquid lipsticks, and these are her new Hollywood Lips liquid lipsticks. Um, there's a few in here that are gorgeous colours that I definitely want to keep. This one here, Miss Kensington, was a limited edition, and it's actually such a nice nude. I still pull this out quite often. This one is a really rich, dark... Um, purple it is literally a purple it's not even a little bit red that's called hell's bells and i also have glastonbury which is kind of like the classic super rich dark purpley tone i mean it's just way too dark sexy sienna though is one of my favorite go-to colors i pick this up nearly daily um i wear that one a lot so that is definitely gonna have to stay pillow talk I waited so long for this to come out in lipstick form. This is Charlotte Tilbury's, um, basically her best-selling lip liner, and she finally released it in a lipstick recently. Very wearable. It looks a bit darker there, but I have worn that so many times. I think Susie actually bought this one for me. And then the last lipsticks I have to sort are the Chanel ones. I think I'm going to keep all of these, actually. This one I'm wearing today. Um, I use these a lot. They're the Rouge Allure Inks. This one is an Experimente, um, and this one is in Amoureux. Really pretty colours and they are really nice liquid lipsticks. This is a really gorgeous nude. It's called Adrian. Um, again, I wear that one a lot. I think I actually have two of the same colour. How have I managed to do that? These are both um, number 57. I only bought one of these recently. I should have checked to see if I had it. A really perfect orangey red. That's annoying. Why did I do that? Um, okay, one of those can go then. And then the other one I have is also red. Um, this is a different kind of like darker burgundy red. I'm really running out of arm room. Okay, I'm super aware of how long this video has probably gotten by now. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of these lip liners with you, but I can literally tell you which ones I'm going to keep. And that is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury ones for definite. The MAC ones, pretty much all of them. Um, I really love lip liners. I think they are so nice to wear just on their own as well. And the MAC ones are probably the best formulas. I really like these ones. And then I have one other favourite as well, this Hourglass red lip liner, which I actually wear a lot on its own. This one's actually in the colour Raven, which matches the liquid lipstick I have from them, but together or alone, this is just so nice. So that one has to say too. <sighs> That was exhausting. I have never talked so much about lipstick in my life. I think I've actually lost my voice nearly. It's dark outside now. It's night time. That's how long I have been talking about these lipsticks for. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly which ones I've kept um, and which ones I've thrown away. Look at this arm. That is a super used up swatched arm. So this is what I'm keeping. Um, this has gone down dramatically. I'm kind of impressed. I mean, overall, there's still a lot of lipsticks here, but this will fill maybe three Muji drawers, maybe one entire compartment, so I'm happy with that. Um, I've really cut down the YSL ones, the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I've still got a lot of these NARS lip pencils, but as we know, I love them. A whole lot less liquid lipsticks. I feel like that phase of my life is just over, so I don't have a lot of those either. The lip balms have gone down quite a bit. Obviously, there's still a lot of MAC, but yeah, I'm happy with this collection now. And then over here is everything that I'm saying goodbye to. I'm going to go back through this and sort out ones that have been used, ones that are, you know, just way too old and need to be thrown away, and things that can be given away or just kind of donated as well. So that's the goodbye pile. And this is the hello pile. So that is it. That is my makeup clear out series done. Um, I, I feel so refreshed. I feel so pure now. I just have to put everything back where it should be. Um, and then, yeah, I should have a lot less makeup on my hands. So thank you guys so much for watching this series. I'm going to leave the playlist link down below if you want to catch up on the other ones. Um, I might do one final part to this because um, I did mention that I was going to do it. And that's kind of show you my final makeup storage collection setup 
up um, how I organize things so if you want to see that let me know um, down below in the comments so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love doing these clear out decluttering organizing videos um, so yeah they're very therapeutic and very fun to do for me too so hopefully they are for you to watch um, but thank you all so much for joining me I'm hopefully gonna have a new video up on Friday as well you should be seeing this one earlier in the week so potentially we might be back to two videos a week. Um, I mean, don't get your hopes up or anything, but yeah, um, I'm gonna start trying to film a bit more. So that is it from me for now. I'm sure this video has gone obscenely long um, and I will see you all soon. Bye.